Hello guys and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So, so far all of our main characters are still alive and well in doing well doing deviant things. <laughs> so now let's continue the story. Let's do this. We've got two more chapters left in the game. So this should be fun. November 10th of 2038. We are here. Where are we? With Marcus. Is this... What was the name of Carl's house? Yeah, I think it was. Ooh, see Carl. We can see Carl. Okay, let's see how's how he's up to these days. We haven't seen him in, since we left, I think. Oh, automatic Hello doors. Welcome home, Marcus. Oh, we're still welcome. Interesting. Huh. See Carl. Where is Carl? Probably here, first floor. What is this? Play. Hi, Dad. I'm oh. gonna be at the hospital tomorrow. They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. I am. Um, I'm really sorry about everything that happened. Oh, Carl's I okay. Stop all that shit. I thought uh, he died for a sec. It messes me up. It, it, it turns me into somebody I hate. Hey, I'd like to come by and, and see you tomorrow, if, if that's alright with you. I, hmm. I just want to let you know, I'm, I'm proud to be your son. Well, alright. Hmm. You didn't seem to be like that when we f um, first met up in the previous episode. I mean, not really previous, but way back. The earlier episodes. Okay, where is Carl? He, um, he might be in his art gallery or something. I don't know. Got some books. We can play the piano. I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> is he here? No, he's not. Hmm. Let's see. How's this painting going so far? Oh, this is what we painted. Before. Hmm. It's still here. Alright. I think Carl is in his room. So. Got a big tall giraffe here. Let's go to his room then. Or he might be in the kitchen. Nope. That door won't open for us. Okay. Anyways, let's go head to his room. Upstairs. His house is so grand. Like, everything is so expensive and rich and... Yeah. <laughs> Extravagant. Glorious. Um, where was his room located? Inside. Who are oh. you? <gasps> How did you get in? He has I a new Carl. android. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Oh wow. He replaced us. Please. I need to see him. Yeah. We just want to talk. He's to very him. weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. It's fine. I just want to see him if he's doing okay. Can we go in? See Carl. <gasps> oh, Carl is not in good shape. Carl. <gasps> Marcus. Hey. I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, Carl. You don't know how much I've missed you. Mm hmm. What's wrong, Marcus? Um. I'm completely lost. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look but for answers. But it kind of backfired a little bit. Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. I mean, not really backfired, but... The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. I don't fear know what others. I'm saying. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Oh, 
Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence. Yeah, but I don't. Tell really me. Don't want that. What choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is, or fight to change it. Hmm. Accept or fight to change it. I think mm, we're gonna fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. <gasps> wow. Our blood isn't the same color, but I know part of me is in you. When the That's... world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you. Mm. Wow, he treats us like his own son. See you, um, Carl. Hmm, where are we? Oh, this is the place we have seeked, um, refuge for? Hmm. Yeah, Marcus is just feeling really down. Doesn't really know what to do. Talk to your people, apologize to Kara, and decide Connor's fate. Okay. Hmm. Can we talk to these other peeps? Yes, we'll talk to you first. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. Yes. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Mm. They really want to start anew in Canada. Marcus. Yes. Save our people. I will try. I will try to do it. I'll try my best, Kara. Don't worry about it. I will try my best. Decide Connor's fate. Can we actually talk to these other peeps? Is that Connor? I don't think that's Connor. No, that's not Connor. Okay. Connor is over. I can't. Oh. oh. Who is this? Is this Connor? Wait. Let me talk to Josh first. I think this is Josh, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go, go talk to Josh first. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Mm. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. Your people? You and I haven't always agreed, but I know. That we're fighting for the same thing. Mm, yeah, we are. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate what you said. Now, who is this? Oh, this is Connor, right here. Okay, I think that was North <laughs> in this corner right here. Okay, yeah, I wanna talk to North first. Is no. I don't know who this person is. Yeah, it's North. 
<laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry. Um. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. Hmm. That, that doesn't sound hours, good. In a few we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. That's good. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. Yeah, but you have I to think to save about you. people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Thanks, North. what they're sharing through their like connection with the hand thing going on <laughs> now can we do anything else no I think the last thing we can do is talk to Connor so let's go ahead and do that how are you holding on mate it's my fault what do you the mean humans managed to locate Jericho oh <laughs> yeah I was stupid I should have guessed they were using me. Ooh, that's how Connor feels right now. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. What do you mean? I trust you. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. Yes. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. Ooh. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Okay. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Isn't that going to be heavily guarded? Connor, that's suicide. Yeah, that's kind of scary they to do. trust me. Oh. They'll let me in. Oh, I see, I see, I see. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. That is true. That's a possibility. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance unlikely events to take place <laughs> be careful I'm kind of scared of how that will go like Connor's plan I'm scared to make choices for him <laughs> so now let's inform your choice uh, your people of your choice okay form your people of your choice Let's do it. Oh, here. Humans Let's speak up have here. decided to exterminate us. They have. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Ooh. Public opinion is supportive, so we can either have a demonstration or a re revolution. So march peace. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. <laughs> march peacefully toward the camps to pressure the authorities, or launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Yeah, that. Mm. Obviously, we're going for a demonstration. We I are know. always gonna march peacefully. I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. Yeah, I, mm. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. Ooh, North if there's like any humanity in them, like they will listen. Violence. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Okay. Are you ready to follow me? 
That's right. All right. We're gonna do this, guys. We're gonna demonstrate peacefully. Marcus, Marcus, let's go. Follow the leader. Hmm. Knight of the Soul, Marcus. Marcus chose to protest for his people. What is Connor's flowchart? Oh, nothing. You have nothing in there. Was there supposed to be something? For Connor? Alright guys, so I think I'm gonna end the episode right here. I know it's very, very short um, episode right now. But yeah, I just wanna... I don't wanna start the next chapter right now because I kind of feel intimidated as to what will happen. <laughs> I just, I will do it tomorrow, okay? If you guys are enjoying, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the final, final episode of Detroit Become Human. So be sure to stay tuned. I'll see you guys there. Bye!